Are you ready for the ultimate Norwegian road trip? Hold on to your fjords, because we're about to dive into Norway's $47 billion floating highway. That's right, we said floating highway. We'll be exploring the ambitious project spanning 500 miles or 800 kilometers that will connect Kristiansand to Trondheim with a series of floating tunnels and bridges to traverse the challenging and rugged Norwegian landscape. Also, we will find out why this route is critical for Norway's economy. But before we get into the nitty-gritty of the project, let's just say that this isn't your average highway that goes over some lakes and over some rocky terrain. We're talking about floating tunnels, technical marvels, and innovation that will blow your mind. You won't want to miss this ride, so stick around to find out how Norway plans to pull off one of the most unique and expensive transportation projects in the world. Plus, we'll be sharing some cool facts along the way. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll find yourself driving through a floating tunnel under the sea, sipping on a nice hot cup of cocoa and thinking to yourself, I know exactly how this was built and how much this cost. So, you might be wondering, what makes this $47 billion project so unique and why is it worth the investment? Well, imagine this, a highway that is built under the sea connecting two of Norway's biggest cities. That's right, instead of driving on top of the water, you'll be driving through it. It's a truly remarkable feat of engineering that will revolutionize transportation in Norway and inspire other countries by showing them what is possible. The current system, which relies on ferries to transport people and goods, can be slow, inefficient, and dependent on weather conditions. The undersea highway will provide a more direct and reliable route, cutting travel time and increasing connectivity between the two cities. That's like something straight out of a James Bond movie. But how is this even possible? I mean, we all know that water and cars don't exactly mix well. That's where the submerged floating tunnels come in. These tunnels are made of concrete and steel and are held up by pontoons that are filled with air. They'll be anchored to the seafloor and held in place by cables attached to the bedrock. According to Thomas Jensen, the project manager for the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, the tunnels will be the first of their kind in the world. Jensen explained, We will have a tunnel that floats that is submerged underwater, and then we will have a tunnel that is floating above the water. We're doing this to avoid having to construct tunnels through the mountains, which would have been much more expensive and challenging. But it's not just the tunnels that are impressive, it's the bridges too. The longest of the bridges will span 5 miles, making it one of the longest suspension bridges in the world. It will be built in such a way that it won't interfere with the maritime traffic passing under it. As Norway's economy is highly dependent on the maritime industry, in fact, the maritime industry is responsible for more than 70% of Norway's exports and significantly contributes to the country's GDP. The floating tunnels and bridges project will play a significant role in facilitating and enhancing Norway's trade and transportation infrastructure. According to Newt Opeid, CEO of the construction company that won the bid to build the bridge, the project is a technological and architectural masterpiece, Opeid explained. We had to consider not only the engineering challenges of building such a long bridge, but also the impact it will have on the environment and the surrounding communities. It's not just a bridge, it's a symbol of what Norway can achieve when we work together. The engineers behind this project are pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible, and it's all happening right here in Norway. The project has been underway since 2011, and the first phase of the project, involving the construction of a 27-mile-long floating bridge and tunnel system, is expected to be completed by 2035. The entire project, including the construction of the floating highway and connecting roads, is expected to be completed by 2050. So, while it may be a long wait, the result is sure to be a game-changer in the world of transportation. The total cost of the project is estimated at $47 billion making it one of the most expensive transportation projects in the world. To give you a reference to just how big Norway's project is, the interstate system spanning the entire United States cost $114 billion and was 46,876 miles long. Therefore, each mile of the highway cost over $2.4 million. 
In comparison, each mile of Norway's floating highway will cost a staggering $94 million. All in all, the Norway Floating Highway project is a true engineering marvel. It's a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of the Norwegian people, and it's sure to leave a lasting impact on the country for generations to come. As one engineer working on the project put it, it's not just a highway, it's a legacy. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can Norway pull off such a wild project? Well, it's no secret that Norway is a world leader in engineering and innovation. They have a history of building seemingly impossible things. For example, the Trollstigen Mountain Road, also known as the Trolls Path, is a narrow, winding road that snakes through the Norwegian mountains, and it's become a must-see destination for tourists. So it's no surprise that the Norwegians have taken on this ambitious project. Of course, with any ambitious project like this, there will be hurdles to overcome along the way. In an interview with CNN, Tarje Andresen, the project's director, said, It's a challenging project. We have to look at new technology, and we have to find good solutions to make it safe and secure for the users. Safety is a top priority for the engineers working on the project. They're taking every precaution to ensure that the tunnels and bridges are as safe as possible now and for the years to come. For example, the tunnels will be designed to withstand collisions with submarines, which is no small feat. And the pontoons that hold up the tunnels will be filled with air, which will make them buoyant and allow them to rise and fall with the tides and climate change. But it's not just about safety. The floating highway will also have a significant impact on Norway's economy. As we mentioned earlier, the route connects Kristiansand and Trondheim, two major cities in Norway. The highway will cut down travel time between the two cities by half, making it easier for people and goods to move around the country. This will have a ripple effect on the economy, boosting productivity and growth. And speaking of growth, the floating highway is expected to create around 15,000 jobs during its construction phase. That's a significant number of jobs that will provide a boost to the local economy. Plus, the project will require a range of skills from engineering to construction to logistics. So there will be opportunities for a variety of professionals from many different socio-economic backgrounds. But let's get back to the fun stuff. Imagine driving through a series of tunnels and bridges that are suspended over the sea. Then, instead of being above the water, you might be under it. Still driving your car, and not some wild contraption as you would see in your favorite spy film. You'll be surrounded by water on all sides and you might even spot a whale or two swimming alongside you. You'll be able to see the rugged coastline and the majestic fjords in all their glory. In summary, Norway's floating highway project is nothing short of extraordinary. It's a testament to human innovation and engineering prowess, and it's bound to change the way we travel in the future. The fact that it's happening right now is both exciting and inspiring. But let's be real. As cool as this project is, it's not something that most of us will get to experience in our lifetimes. And that's okay, because even if we don't get to drive through a tunnel under the sea, we can still appreciate the sheer audacity of the project and the possibilities it opens for the future of transportation. So next time you're stuck in traffic or delayed at the airport, just think about the floating highway in Norway and how it represents a world of untapped potential. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be cruising in our flying cars and look back on the floating highway as a quaint relic of the past. But let's be honest, flying cars have been the future of transportation for so long, it's starting to feel like we've been stood up on a hot date. Come on, science, we're waiting 